Hi, and welcome back to For the Love of Organizing. I have missed you all so much, and I'm happy to be back just in time for fall. I'll leave more info in the description bar about my absence, but want to jump right into this shabby chic transformation. Our master bedroom makeover was sparked by two things. One, the headboard and footboard were in great shape and free to us, but the color and lines were not really a match for our style. And two, Vaunt sent us beautiful decorative wall panels with a pearlescent finish in exchange for a video review. Now here's a quick look at the after, which is still a work in progress, but quite a difference from the before. And I would love to share the process with you. We started by finding color inspiration from items we already had, this soft ivory throw, the charcoal pillows, and our chandelier which you've seen in another video, and we were initially thinking about using the soft gray you see here as well. Now since the headboard and panels were not a cost to us, we had a little more budget to search for some antique elements to incorporate. We went to a local store that specializes in vintage building materials and came across these antique ceiling trim pieces. You may recognize them from my Instagram. They were $28 a piece um, and they were the right size for our queen headboard. And my hubby knew right away they were right for this project. We also picked up these mercury glass candle holders to go along with the decor. Uh, and we already had chalk paint from another project but grabbed another jar um, and I'll link to the one that we like below. Now back home it was time to paint and the chalk paint doesn't require sanding or priming as you know, which makes it well worth the cost um, if you can swing it. And to go from the dark color to the warm ivory took us a good three coats. Um, I then shifted my focus to creating a DIY canopy with some inexpensive wall hooks, uh, two different colors of tulle from Joann's, and some decorative gold ribbon. Now that the headboard and footboard were dry, we worked on attaching the vintage pieces. And to make everything fit and look more custom, we also added trim and painted it to match. We were ready to attach the vaunt panels, which traditionally are installed on the wall behind a bed to create a headboard, um, but they were open to us creating something a little different. So we placed and installed the metal tracks, then put the panels in place, and we were thrilled with how perfectly they fit. We wanted the same look on the footboard, and this part did require a little customization from my hubby. What he did was relocate the mounting hardware so that it ran horizontally instead of vert vertically, and we just used one panel. For the bedding, the green and gold comforter didn't match the new theme, but our daughter had a super plush comforter that was perfect, so we bought her something new and brought this to our room. Um, it originally came from Kohl's, and it's ivory on one side and a deep charcoal on the reverse. These glam pillows were an old Ross find. And here's a look at the headboard and bedding with the pillows configured a few different ways. We brought in different nightstands from the guest bedroom um, that we'd previously painted in the same color. And this was filmed before we added window treatments and a dresser but I've saved the rest for another video and hope this has given you plenty of ideas for your own home. Thanks again for watching. I post pretty often on Instagram at For the Love of Organizing, so I hope to see you over there until my next video.